Hello and good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, because we never know. We just never know. Why are we here? Well, to taste this beauty. And um, I have Fergus with me again. Hello, Ellie. I can't get rid of him, but that's all right because he brings me wine, so it's fine. <laughs> Hello, Fergus. How are you doing? I'm um, okay. Good. I think. Nice. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I'm excited to start. Yeah, yeah. Business good. booming? Business is going well, going very well, yeah. It's quite good. Owner of Camino del Vino. So if you would like very good wines, give him a try. Mm. Yeah. Curious. Great, yeah. Basically, our tagline is tasty wine without the faff. faff. There you go. So there we go. Affordable price? Some of them are, <gasps> yeah. Some it of depends them. on your purse, yeah. How big um, your purse is, well, of course. Yeah. I guess. It always depends on the person. <laughs> Never mind. That's why I'm doing this program, you see, because I don't have to pay for it when he's here. Yeah. If he's not here, I do. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what have we got today? I know it is something I can't pronounce. Now, I can see the coal on the label. Correct. But this is a playoff of the original. Of the region. Yeah. The region. The region there of Cahor. Cahor. Yeah. So yeah, it's okay. got a, I think it's got a beautiful, like, what really caught me is just a big searing K. Mm -hmm. so, so a lot and of, the colour. And the colour, red of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and a lot of Clos Trotligots wines. I will not try to pronounce that. <laughs> have yes. sort of similar sort of labels, but they're all different in colours. But I think this one just really caught my eye because it's like a searing red. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is playing off Cahor, so mm -hmm. it's Cahor. In French, you pronounce the K as ca, mm -hmm. so ca or, and then ca or. So it's mm -hmm. a play on the region, basically. But in English, you'd probably just go core. Cool. Like cool. that. Cool. That's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think it probably plays to both markets quite well there. Very good. So, yeah. So this is a Malbec. Correct, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What did we taste last time that was red? I forgot. A smiling Donkey? Yeah. Maduro? Yes. And a big donkey on the front? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Up in the Mirandese <laughs> donkeys. Up yes. in the Mirandese. Uh, that was a blend. That was a blend mm -hmm. of Portuguese grapes over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Don't that was very good. Yeah. As well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Let's hope this one will be just as good. Mm. Will it? Uh, it'll be slightly different. Uh, it's, it will be just as good, I promise you. But it's going to be slightly different in taste and style because those ones in the do in the donkey, sorry, the smiling donkey duro. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they're very sort of. They grow in quite hot, arid conditions, so they're going to be quite intense. Whereas this one is going to be slightly muted down a little bit. It's going to, it's still going to be quite. It's going to be there. It's going to be a nice red wine, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Don't get too. Mm. We'll leave it there. Okay. <laughs> right. So you've opened the wine, the bottle already. I have opened Why? the wine. So this, which is exciting, a first for our mm -hmm. show is a biodynamic wine. Biodynamic. Biodynamic. Have you, have you, did, did, did you know that? Wine can be biodynamic. Yes. Something to do with the soil. Uh, yeah, it's, it's to do with the production process, mm -hmm. uh, the whole sort of the cycle of when the grape or the vine is in there through to fermenta fermenting and then everything after that. So it's all about, it's like an extreme version of organic wine making or vit viticulture mm -hmm. in, the, in the fancy word. Uh, for winemaking. Uh, yeah, and it's just all about sort of having harmony within the vine vineyard uh, and trying to express as much terroir um, which is of the, <laughs> the vineyard as well. Terroir is just the general sort of um, how the growing conditions, the climate, and all which all affects the vine basically. Mm -hmm. And so it's really expressed through this. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's quite an interesting one. And so yeah, the reason why I opened it is because it because of how it is produced and there's very low sort of mi minimal interventions they don't put any nasty stuff on it mm -hmm. uh, they try and really just let the vine be its be mm -hmm. um, and try to show what it is organic organic extreme organic extreme organic biodynamic and so it can be a little bit funky in terms of the flavor but not not too much so I've definitely tried a lot worse wines where mm -hmm. the, the initial taste is basically getting like shoved green grass like really mm. fresh green grass in your face like really and it's not really pleasant but this one slightly it's on, it's on the good side of being mm -hmm. not of being funky i'd say it's interesting wow so yeah i'm very curious <laughs> oh dear god so yeah, yeah. oh 
I like that colour. Yeah. So it, it's got a similar colour to the donkey. Yeah. It's donkey. <laughs> Just stop calling it the donkey. Because <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Um, but yeah, mm. it's sort of, as you can tell, if you pour it, just pour oh, it to yes. the side. Look you at that. It's super, super dark. I love this colour. So back in the old days, this used to be called black wines. Right. Uh, just because of its colour, and that's an, it was also it was, so the region of Cahor lies to the east of Bordeaux, mm -hmm. which is obviously a very famous wine growing region. Uh, and this is just known just for its colour being really black. And as Keith said. The Romans used to love the colour as well of being black, and they used to refer to it as black wines as well. So, oh, yeah. what's in it? What am I supposed to taste? I'm not sure. So, I'll what are you taste supposed it. to taste? Uh, you're supposed to taste this, this one like dark forest fruits sort of stuff, mm -hmm. like nice rich black cherries and berries and stuff like that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can already you give it as well. So these mm. got, these glasses are quite good because they've got uh, the, mm -hmm. they're a lot wider, mm -hmm. and so therefore a lot the allow a lot more of the surface area to react with the, the air and therefore mm. allow to catch the aromas as well. And like, like we've mentioned in our last episode about the bulb shape, just larger and helps capture a lot more aromas as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. I don't know how to describe it. It has a, it, oh yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what, uh, yeah, it has a certain aroma. Yeah, it's definitely. It's I don't not... know what to. Yeah, I couldn't put my finger on it, but it's definitely different. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is sort of. It's very green. Is what it's sort of in that aspect. If you get what I mean, it's not. It's not pure. It's not like a pure uh, sort of black fruit flavour. It's slightly. Slightly twisted in a way, but it's still quite nice and pleasant, I think. Mm-hmm. No, not convinced. Well, we'll, well see. We'll just <laughs> test. <laughs> we'll see. Really? Definitely different. Yes. Take the plunge. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So it's not as intense as the no. the smiling donkey. Mm. I think it's a little bit more. It's a. I think it's a little bit more smoother. Yes. But it stays on the tongue for a lot longer. I think it's quite nice. Hmm. I can't describe it. <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. For some reason, fruit juice comes into mind. Oh really? <laughs> yes. Okay. No, Fruit juice enough. without the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> this is the updated version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, the smell. Mm. It feels lighter, do you think? Mm. That's why you think it tastes a little bit of fruit juice. Mm -hmm. Whereas the last, so yeah, the Smiling Donkey was a lot, very like intense, quite like thick as well. Yes. And this is sort of just a play, slightly played down version of it as well. That's still got like the tannins in it, that sort of drying I effect. Just about to ask that. Yeah. What about the tannins? I don't so, like the tannins. You don't like the tannins? <laughs> in red trouble. wine in general? Or? Uh, if it's too much. Or okay. Too, yeah, it uh, causes a lot of problems the next day. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a myth. We talk, it is a really? myth. Yeah, yeah, it's a complete oh, myth. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It's just dependent. It's just the amount you drink. No. Really? <laughs> Can't blame every ton of tannins then, can I? You took away yeah. my last hope. I'm sorry. I mean, the choose excuse. your words carefully, will you? But it is a, it's a, not many people. It's a myth, but. People still believe it, so I think you'll be fine. Just keep saying it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah, mm. I don't think there's too much too much tannins in this though. No, it does. Yeah, yes, it's not as strong or not as drying. Mm. I think I, I I said last time that it uh, I can never explain if it's too much uh, tannin and it feels very drying. Mm -hmm. That's the only word I can. A drying feeling. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Let me try it again. What food? With? What food? Gamey food. Mm -hmm. So this is like a nice Christmas dinner drink. Finally. Finally a Christmas. <laughs> Christmas meal drink. I asked for <laughs> Christmas wine. And the previous one wasn't Christmassy, it was summery, but hey ho. Yeah, this one's great. This one's great because it's got it's got quite rich flavours to it. Will match perfectly with like sort of 
turkey, beef, gravy, really nice, but especially just, yeah, pigs and blankets go down the storm, I reckon. Mm. Yeah. Maybe some chocolate after that? Yeah, definitely. Don't forget yeah, the chocolate yeah, after Christmas. I mean, red wine and chocolate are a perfect combination <laughs> for one another. <laughs> hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Kaol. From the Kaol region. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies for my French. <laughs> yes, it's not my best. Okay, well, thank you very much. This is very nice. So, if you're interested, get in touch with lovely Fergus and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out with the best wine, not only for Christmas, but for throughout the year. Exactly. I'll see you next time. See you, Annie. Thank you very much. No worries. And thank you to the viewers. Enjoy the wine. Bye-bye. See ya.